photo editing tool I want to share with you is called Pixlr X, which I think stands for Express. So if you look over here on the left, which I've got stock search, create new, and you can even open an image that you've saved. Stock search is stock photography, which is free photography, free photography for you to use. So since I've been searching chickens, there is a chicken. And you're going to notice some things probably from the Pixabay search, like the cool chicken I downloaded. And so if you click on it, it opens that image up into the editor and you can make it custom, filter it, add some text, do all kinds of things to it. And since we're working with images on Google Slides, I would just keep it web version. We don't need to print this. So you can keep it the smallest version and hit apply, which then gives you the chicken. Now I'm not going to go through every single thing in the menu, um, but I will start with a couple different things. You've got properties, you can resize your image, flip it, rotate it. Um, we've got layers over here on the right, which that's another day. We, you can crop the image. So if you want to get it cropped just right, and then you can uh, hit save. And then, um, no, you don't want to save it yet. If you crop it and then just move on to your next thing, it'll crop it. You can cut out background. So if I just want the chicken to be just the chicken with no background, I can then go over here to the magic cutout. I can paint the cutout. I can lasso the cutout. Or I can do a shape. So if I want a circle, I can do a shape where the chicken's right there, and then I can move the chicken around, which... Hmm. not quite sure what that would look like, but I should be able to move it around. If not, I would just redraw the crop and it keeps adding. So if that's the case, you can reset your crop and then hold shift to get a perfect circle maybe. Nope. And then you can cut out the uh, reset. You can invert the crop. So all kinds of things, extract a layer and then all kinds of crazy stuff. So. The other thing you can do is the magic cutout. So if you take the magic wand and click on it, it'll automatically cut the chicken out. And so I've got a chicken with no background and then I can save that. And then you wanna save it as a PNG. I'm not gonna save it yet. I can add some tinting and make a more vibrant chicken or I can saturate the colors and play around with colors and edit it just right. Or I can change the contrasts so I can make it a very moody chicken then you can add some, um, I can sharpen it, I can blur it. So there's different things I can do to the chicken to give it some cool effects. I can pixelate it. So there's really cool effects here that I can play around with. The other thing you can do is play with effects and filters. So if you want to give it just an automatic glow or a cool amber touch, that's some rock star chicken. Problem is some of the feathers are missing. So I'd probably have to go back to the cutout pick the paintbrush, and then I would probably paint over the chicken so I can bring those feathers back. That way, he's all there. So then I can add text. So if I create new text, I can do that and move it around. I can change it with some different fonts, outlines. You would just need to play around with these tools, but Pixlr X is an awesome tool to use, especially when designing things for this class or any other class.